the breakup breakdown and we got discord and he's like a uh, like an elf because he's got the bow and uh elf clothes all right would that be elf i guess right elves are archers in fantasy um oh i think okay so i just put two and two together because there's these pictures down here so this is going to be about uh big mac's girlfriend again and it's going to be the dungeons and dragons thing like i, I didn't read the description i, I avoid doing that because that can be spoilers but like i just this an obvious two and two together so this is gonna <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be about Dungeons and Dragons and how and it's gonna be like when the one member of your game like gets a girlfriend and then has a life <laughs> has a life. That almost feels like an episode of South Park. Like, I mean, I haven't seen, I've only seen like the first three seasons and a bit of that show, but like, that sounds like the plot of an episode of South Park. Like, <laughs> like I don't know, it would be like if the four kids started playing like Dungeons and Dragons and then like Stan started like hanging out with Wendy a lot and then it's like that, that's... <laughs> That's so weird. That's, that straight up sounds like the basic concept of a South Park episode. Whatever. So, I mean, I guess I could be wrong about what I'm guessing this is, but it seems pretty obvious, and especially the breakup, because it's like the Dungeons & Dragons game is going to break up or something. I don't know. I guess this could be interesting. And you got Discord again, so that's, uh, he's the only good character in the show. <laughs> I think he's the only character that I've genuinely liked on any consistent level. I'm trying to think. I mean, there's moments, like, with Maud and Fluttershy where I can relate to them, but, like, they're very scattered if be at best. So, oh, whatever. Big Mac is making a pie. Wait, what? Oh, right. That was the name of the thing. Ogres and stuff. So this, he's uh, into the game now. Oh, I guess he's making the pie for uh, his girlfriend. Ooh, stupid laugh. Roos. Did he just say Roos? Roos. The squad's got the same idea as... Uh, as Valentine's Day. I think it's the dumbest thing ever. All it does is make lonely people feel more lonely, and it forces people in relationships to spend a bunch of money that they don't need to spend. It's fucking bullshit. Again, I still have this feeling of watching this where it's just like, this isn't real life, right? This is some kind of like really weird dream that's like hyper realistic. Like this can't be something I'm actually sitting here and watching. Oh, so Discord doesn't like this shit. Sugar Bell. So they speak in emojis. And love like isn't real. <laughs> I'm surprised they actually went that went there and said something like that. They actually said that love isn't real. Oh, so this isn't gonna be about Dungeons and, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, there's Derpy. And that's the fandom right there. This Big Mac. I don't know why they're showing this with the package going on it. That just felt like a waste of 10 seconds. Whatever. Oh, little kids don't have anyone to, to fuck on this day. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what? Wait, did this get sent to... <laughs> So it got sent to the wrong person? Oh no, it, it, it's different. So it is someone else though. Okay, they're excited, but of course, who is it? I mean, there's never been any love interests with those characters, so I have no idea who it could be. I guess I'm engaged with this episode. Like, I'm not, I haven't been bored yet. <laughs> he just started talking. He was giving some kind of weird speech and then stupid about himself. Oh, it's O and O, not TNT. I didn't put that together in my head. So now they're both, they're both planning a big surprise. What? What? Oh, Discord's gonna figure out with his magical omnipotence. Or they're just gonna listen to him. <laughs> oh, this is about spying in the bushes, like, in every TV show ever. Oh, we got one of these scenes. Wait, without him? Oof. Oh, wait, no, no. They're, they're playing the pronoun game. Oh, never mind. Oh. No, they're, they're still being vague. She's gonna move to Ponyville, that's the big surprise. But she said we're finished. <laughs> I don't know if I had a small number of... Genuine tiny laughs. Well, oh, it's drinking the cider. So is she actually breaking up though? I mean, it's, uh, they're keeping it very ambiguous still. And now he's, he's still, he's actually saying words. So there they go. I guess this is also about guys just dealing with breakups. I don't even know. Okay, actually Discord's my least favorite part about this so far. I don't know, he just hasn't been funny. Visually funny. So now they gotta find the secret admirer. Okay, they're just derpily trying to figure out this stuff. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't want it to be them. Are you, oh my god, it's like people dating their OCs. Oh my gosh. Just imagining someone dating a skeleton OC. I'm sure that exists in somewhere. Uh, he's still crying. There's some more details on the ground there. There's like shading and stuff instead of just a solid color. Every stallion Wait, they just said stallion. Why would a stallion be her secret admirer? Oh, uh, is he gonna like ruin the date to mess with her? <laughs> Dis He's convincing him to, to break up with Sugar Bill. Yeah, don't- okay. Don't say it like that, because it's something else. Obviously. So that was obvious. Oh, there- <laughs> he's gonna break up with her. <laughs> Awkward. And of course, they're just being vague instead of saying- <laughs> 
is so cringe. Wait, uh, of course, you're just not being clear and not communicating. And uh, now we got a sad song. Oh, yep, confirmed those two are lesbians, pretty much. <laughs> okay, that one got me. I wasn't expect. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the stick and boulder. Okay, that was actually funny. <laughs> I guess this has got some of that, like, shipping cringe that, like, I find really entertaining. But now they're just, I don't know, are, they're paralleling their situations. Oh, now he's gonna finally say the truth. There's that board of a bunch of people. I'm, I'm guessing those are some background characters. Oh no, there goes the wheel, and now Big Mac's gonna come and fix it. Oh, here they go, they're gonna be back together. <sighs> oh, now they're not playing the, break, the vague stuff. Oh, of course, it's the exact random scenario Spike explained. Oh, right, there they go. Nuzzles. And okay, they just spelled out the lesson. Communication is important. Wait, so the pie was? The pie that Sweetie Pill got was Big Mac's pie? But that was a heart shaped thing. I thought that was. I thought Big Mac made a circle one, and Sweetie Pill got the heart shaped one. I guess I was just misremembering. Okay, it was a mix up. Yeah, friend, you don't need a significant other, you just need friends. That's the lesson or something. I guess there's all the couples that the shippers are just gonna fucking go crazy for. What is he making? Huh? Oh, Discord did that to help Big Mac. Oh, there they go. Playing this shit. What? Despite implying that he wants to be with a skeleton horse? Okay then? Okay, uh, I guess I kind of like this one. This really had that, like, shipping cringe that's, like, really funny to me. Like, all of those kind of relationship episodes are always, are usually really funny to me. It's, like, half of the reason why I really like a lot of those episodes in Star. Cause, like, in, but in Star, there's usually, like, something more going on. Like, in, uh, in Just Friends, there's, like, the beginning thing with how Marco's feeling all awkward and stuff that's just, like, that hit me so hard. <laughs> in addition to the, like, cringe moments but it's like you feel bad for the characters like when star just walking out of the thing anyways this isn't about star basically it's valentine's day or well the equivalent and so sugar bills in the town oh and this isn't what i thought it was going to be and it doesn't really have anything to do with the dungeons and dragons thing stopping yeah so sugar bell who's big mac's uh, girlfriend she's in the town for some reason and then big mac overhears her saying something that makes it sound like they're gonna she's gonna break up with him and then it's all sad and he's like oh and discord convinces big mac to break up with his girlfriend and then that happens and it's just this miscommunication there was also actually a b plot like with the, it was basically big mac sent this cake or pie to sugar Bowl to do as a surprise and it was part of a bigger plan but then somehow it ended up getting to uh sweetie bell and then she thinks that she has a secret admirer because it's like oh sugar is sweets and then bell is bell again and then she just and then in the end she realizes that she doesn't need to have a secret admirer she just has her friend and that's that's good enough there was one <laughs> there was actually a decent number of jokes in here that i kind of laughed at but one of them that i act that i really did laugh at was i wasn't expecting it at all but the fucking it was like doing a little f montage of all the different background characters that are together and there's a fucking mod and the i don't remember what her boyfriend's name was but those two were sitting there like hugging like sitting together or whatever and their fucking pets the stick and the rock were just sitting there and that just i don't even know why i thought it was that funny it's just like <laughs> that really got me i also wasn't bored at all throughout this i mean i thought there were some slow moments but like nothing where i'm just like all right can we just move on let's get to the next thing the middle was probably the slowest part the beginning actually kind of went by a little fast yeah, a surprising amount of enjoyment from this one yeah, i didn't i definitely didn't hate this one at all so i gave this one a 6.9 out of 10 still really a lot of room for improvement i mean it's not exactly that original of an idea i don't know discord wasn't as, wasn't that funny in this there's actually some surprising lines from him I, i'm surprised he said like that love isn't real they actually like put that in the show i mean obviously by the end they the message is that love is real but it's like i'm just surprised they even mentioned that so yeah a, a pretty good episode i guess though i think this is gonna be another outlier but i guess this is one more episode that i genuinely liked so it's like now i'd say there's like i can't remember the exact number but it's i think that i'm up to five or six episodes that i think are genuine genuinely good uh yeah and i'm gonna watch another one right now because uh timing for recording.